Hey guys, welcome back to Love Truck Garage. Today we're going to finally get to a couple things I've wanted to do for a long time. It's been pretty hot here for a few weeks now, so it's time to get that electric fan installed. As long as the truck's moving, I don't have a problem, but you sit through a couple traffic lights and the temperature starts to go up. I've had the fan for a few years, so it's time to put it in. Another thing I'm going to do is modify the hood hinges so the hood can come off real easy. I still want it to tilt forward, but this will be the best of both worlds. The hinge has a pin that's welded on one end. First thing to do is to get that out of the way. I made a prototype with an old hinge just to make sure everything was going to work. The pin in front fits the hinge better and if it fits under the hood when I'm all done, I'm probably going to switch to those. So with a little help from the bench grinder, I nibble away at the weld until I can see the pin. I don't want to lose any more material than I have to right here. So with a few taps with a punch from the other side, out comes the pin. So this will allow me to bolt on the hood, get my gaps all correct, and then be able to remove the hood by pulling the pins. With my spare set of hinges, I'm going to do the same thing with my stock hood. This will make swapping the hoods a piece of cake. Now let's install that electric fan. I did trim the upper balance, and probably more than I needed to. The fan I used was only two and a half inches thick and it really only needed about a quarter of an inch to clear the balance. I did use some of my black edge trim to clean up the cut line. I used the brackets that came with the fan and played around with the hardware till I had it dialed in. I used spacers on the upper and lower mounts to get everything lined up. The bolts on the fan itself have a quarter of an inch gap between the radiator cooling fins and the bolt heads. Plenty of clearance at the balance. So I trimmed up the brackets and then I went and got some new hardware. I got some nylon spacers for the upper and lower mounts and then I bought flange bolts for the brackets near the fan. All in all, I think it went in pretty easy. At least until I went to put the upper radiator supports in. The fan brackets didn't clear the upper radiator supports. I could get all the bolts in place, but everything was under tension. It's no big deal, I just made another set of upper radiator supports. Just a little bit longer to clear the fan brackets and everything's back in place. Now let's see how that grill's going to fit. Look at that, pops right in with no modifications. I was sure when I started this, I was going to be trimming the back of that grill to make the fan fit. This Be Cool 2.5 inch thick fan is absolutely perfect for my love. It's made by Spall and they have a pretty good reputation in cooling fans. There it is all back together. I'm really happy how this went. I just had to fire it up. It had been a couple of weeks. I do still need to wire in the fan. I bought the harness with the relay and everything to do it, but I'm going to do that in the next video. Overall, I'm pretty happy about how this went in, and I can't wait to be sitting in traffic and flip that fan on. If you've hung on this long, I appreciate you watching, and please like and subscribe. 